Welcome back. The prospect of higher taxes is pushing many high net worth investors into muni bonds. Municipal tax-exempt ex tax bond funds saw record inflows of nearly $57 billion in the first half of the year. Now, that figure is nearly $10 billion higher than the previous six-month record set back in 2019. And my next guest says we should expect it to continue. Joining me now is Dave Rosenberg, president, chief economist, and strategist at Rosenberg Research. Dave, we don't actually talk to you about munis that much. So uh, it's kind of nice to take a different <laughs> tack here, although I'm definitely going to ask you about rates more broadly. But seriously, on this uh, subject, how attractive are they for investors? Well, I think that uh, the premise of the report that I published was really a, a relative value trade um, because nothing is trading at any of these levels, including the stock market. Uh, if interest rates, I'm talking about in the treasury market, were as low as they are right now. Uh, so what we did was uh, we went through uh, all the different parts of what's called spread product. So we went through high yield and investment grade corporates, asset backs, uh, mortgage backs, uh, credit cards, uh, the whole gamut. And we actually found that in the muni space, it's actually the only part uh, of the non-treasury segment uh, of the bond market uh, that's trading uh, at interest rate spreads uh, off the government bond market uh, that's higher than they've been in the past. So it was really um, more a relative value trade uh, that they're basically trading off of treasuries much more attractively right. uh, than all their competitors in the credit space. Is there concern? I mean, right now it seems like if anything, state and local governments are flush with cash because I keep seeing these headlines about you know California and New Jersey and they're returning you know money mm. to taxpayers and all this different stuff. Um, is there some longer term concern? I don't know if immunities are typically a five year product, but concern about the um, you know soundness of these funds. Is that why the spread would be higher? Uh, well, I think a lot of it, Kelly, was because uh, the muni market got absolutely smoked, uh, you know, during the pandemic uh, and in the aftermath. I mean, everybody thought that the housing market uh, was going to implode, that uh, municipal, state, local government revenues uh, were going to tank. Uh, and so what we found out since is that, uh, you know, when you consider where they get a lot of their revenues is from property taxes. Well, look at what home prices are, are doing. I mean, we got the, the housing data today. It, it resale prices are up more than 20 percent. Um, so the, the revenues are, are just going so much stronger. I mean, people talk about, look, you're, you're buying core equities right now because everybody's talking about how strong the profit streams are. Well, look at the revenue streams. So they're bringing that in. On top of that, you know, there was a huge gift uh, from Joe Biden in March um, because part of the fiscal package was that $350 billion dollars uh, of federal government transfers to state and local governments. Uh, and at the same time, it's very interesting to see that they're still holding the line on costs um, so that even as the economy has come back, uh, when you're taking a look at employment uh, in state and local, and it is a very labor-intensive part of the economy, employment is still down more than 5% uh, from where it was pre-pandemic. Um, so if you're taking a look at state and local governments, as you were a corporation, in terms of the revenues they're bringing in, benchmarked against the costs, uh, their their income statement is looking phenomenal. Interesting. I just don't think it's fully priced in because when you measure where their spreads are relative to their history compared to other parts of the spread product market, uh, I still think this thing has a way to go. So let me ask you one final question. We don't have much time left, but that maybe could kind of be of interest both to muni investors and the investing public more broadly. Do you think the 10-year benchmark yield should be down here around 1.2% for a considerable period of time? Well, uh, I actually, along with Scott Minard and some others, uh, were actually, when, when the yields got to 175 on the tenure, uh, I was in my daily saying, this is overdone, and we're going to get down towards 1%, uh, which we almost did. Um, so do I think that bond yields should be where they are right now? Uh, I know that people are going to say, well, inflation's too high, but I think inflation is going to come down more than people think next year. But I think more, um, more to the case on the 10 years, I think the real rate's going to go more negative because I think actually third quarter GDP growth is going to come in close to zero. And I'm looking at a consensus that's still 7%. Hmm. N nothing I can do is going to get me close to 7% third quarter growth. So I think that as the economic surprise indices come down, 
you're going to find that the 10-year Treasury note yield probably is going to go back re and retest those lows of last week, if not go lower. So I'm actually quite bullish on the Treasury market right now. Wow. All right, Dave, thank you uh, for your perspective, as always. Really appreciate it. Dave Rosenberg with Rosenberg Research. Coming up, this stock is trading at an all-time high after delivering an earnings beat. We will dig into what's behind the move next. Plus, the meme stocks are on the move again, and we'll show you the latest trading action and how the shorts are faring. We're back in a moment. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM-insured Muni bonds. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 